What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Al in the building and I'm back with another video. So if this is your first time to my channel, make sure you guys check out my other content. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in again. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A about all things chemical engineering. So basically what I did is I went through all my engineering related videos and I grabbed the most frequently asked questions. So hopefully your question is answered in this video. If you have any question that I don't end up answering, make sure you guys comment them down down below so I can answer it and without further ado let's get into the video so the first question that is asked a lot I think this is like the most popular question is chemical engineering hard Oof. okay so I would be lying if I sat in front of you guys and told you that it was easy like it has not been easy you guys should go check out my other video two years of chemical engineering in five minutes and you guys will see the grades that I've had in some of my classes without doubt chemical engineering has some of the hardest classes that any college major has to take physics chemistry calculus the list is endless don't let difficulty be the reason why you don't pursue chemical engineering because every single engineering discipline will have its hard parts and its difficulties how much chemistry does chemical engineering have so the name chemical engineering is actually really misleading it makes you think that wow your engineering chemicals. So the first two years is a lot of chemistry, of course, but after that, like I'm looking at my course catalog, there's no more chemistry classes. And even in the two chemical engineering classes that I've taken, we barely even use chemistry in the classes. We use mostly like math and physics to solve the problem. So the first two years is a lot of chemistry, but after that, there isn't as much as you might think there is. What is the hardest class you've taken? The hardest class I've taken is definitely, hmm, Wow. Oh yeah, my first chemical engineering class, material energy balance. That class was so hard. Oh my gosh. Yo, I think the class average was like a 40%. I'm not sure, but I failed every single exam in that class. Like I'm talking five out of 100, 15 out of 100. I still managed to get a D minus and pass. Don't let this scare you, but yeah, there's some hard classes. How much math is involved in chemical engineering? There's a good amount of math involved, so it all depends on the school. I think basically every school will have to, will have you take Calc 1, Calc 2, differential equations, and at least it's a statistics class. So yeah, I did pre-calculus, Calc 1, Calc 2, differential equations, and then statistics. So that's five math classes. So yeah, there's a good amount of math involved. I wasn't like the best in math in high school too. And I also remember getting a C in my final math class. So just because you didn't do so good in math in high school, that doesn't mean that you won't do good in math in college because high school math and college math, two totally different things. And also I didn't know about the power of YouTube. YouTube is the best teacher. So yeah, if you're not good at math in high school, don't fear. Next question. What advice do you have for chemical engineer students? Wow, I have a lot of advice. I have a lot of advice to share to you guys. Don't do chemical engineering because you like chemistry. That's a mistake I made because once you take organic chemistry, you're going to hate chemistry. So don't study for too long because then you just won't have any life and you're going to be sad. Do you recommend chemical engineering for an average student? You're looking at an average student right now. like. I'm an average student, like, <laughs> honestly, you don't have to be super smart. You don't have to be Einstein to do chemical engineering. There's not one set GPA that you have to have or one set IQ that you have to, you have to have to do chemical engineering. As long as you're able to find it interesting, like find it, actually find it interesting, find it like something you can actually study for four or five years in college, then you'll be fine. Like you can be an average student. The last question that I'm going to end this video with is why did you decide to do chemical engineering? So the reason why I decided to do it is because I took this engineering class my senior year of high school and I remember we did so many cool things like we did woodworking, we played around with like electrical wiring and electrical circuits, we built mousetrap cars, bro we did so much in that class, so much in that class, it was so hands on, we got to be creative, you could think of something you wanted to do and you could just make it and that just got me hooked. To the idea of engineering it was fun it was the only class in high school that allowed me to be hands-on and also that it seemed like something i would be interested in studying for four years in college which is also important you want to make sure that you're studying something interesting so yeah that's the reason why i did chemical engineering so if you're watching this video why did you do chemical engineering what's your story why did you do chemical engineering i would like to know i'm really curious let me know down below in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have any questions that i didn't answer in this video make sure you guys drop them down below so i can answer them make sure you guys comment any video suggestions you would like to see in the future 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.